Welcome back. San Martin de Porres Soup Kitchen is a nonprofit established to serve those in the community who are in need of a nutritious hot meal. They are now hosting their very first gala event as its annual fundraiser this year. The event will be hosted by Anthony's at the Delta and La Fonda del Sol restaurant in Española. We're joined this morning by Christian Trujillo from the San Martin de Porres Soup Kitchen and Chef Fernando Ruiz from Escondido Santa Fe to tell us a little bit more. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Thank, Thank you guys so much for being here this morning. Now give us a brief overview and history of the soup kitchen. So the San Martin de Porres Soup Kitchen was founded in July of 1992 by three founding sisters. Um, my grandmother, Susan Royball, my aunt Arlinda Quintana, and my aunt uh, Theodora Valdez. So now in July, we just celebrated 31 years of service. Um, our mission is to feed the poor and hungry in the Española Valley and surrounding communities. Um, we are open five days a week, Monday through Friday, serving a warm, nutritious meal from 11.30 to 12. Um, we also provide food boxes to anyone in need, um, referred to or anyone referred to us by a church or other partner agency. We serve an average of 80 to 120 meals per day. In 2022, we served um, a little over 41,000 meals. And now from January through June, we've already served over 26,000 meals. So I'm estimating we'll serve well over 50,000 meals this coming year. So you're seeing a greater need within the community. We are, we definitely yeah. are. There's been um, a higher increase in the, the homeless population and um, just people are struggling. So we're there, we're there to provide help to anyone in need. And in order to really make sure that you continue make, making that difference, yes. providing that help, you guys are hosting a, a fundraiser this year. It's a gala. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the event. So the event is going to be a five course meal okay. um, prepared by me and a couple of my team members. So you get your first, your first course, second course, third course, fourth course. On your fifth course, you would get two plates, one with your dessert, and there's going to be another plate underneath. Mm -hmm. That plate underneath was painted by renowned artists throughout the state, throughout the nation, and they're one of a kind. Okay. So once you finish your dessert, my servers will come and pick up the plate. Whatever dessert, whatever plate is left there in front of you, you get to take that home with you. Okay. Or trade it with somebody else around the table, sure. or you can more than happy do whatever you'd like. And we're raising money. Like, we're here to help. Um, yes. We're here to help, just like people are helping us. We're here to help the community and just support some people. And you said each of the plates is designed by a different artist, or they're all the same artists? All different artists from, there's at least 50, there's artists, 50 artists, 50 plates. They okay. each did their own plate, and there's a lot of well-known names in the little group there. And one of those is Toby Morphin? Toby, Toby Morphine, Morphine is Morphine? the man. Okay. Uh, he's curating this. He's a curator as well. Very world-renowned artist, Toby Morphine, out of Española Valley. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be able to organize yes. this sort of stuff. It was actually his idea for this event. Um, prior to this, um, we used to do an annual chili bowl cook-off. Okay. And then when the pandemic hit, we went virtual for our fundraising. So this year, kind of like easing way back into gathering with our community, Toby had recommended, oh, let's do this painted plates um, for soup kitchen event. And I'm just really excited to have partnered with, with Toby and Chef and Ralph Martinez. So. One more time for everybody. When yes. is it? How much are the tickets? And uh, where is it? Go for it. It's, so it's August 19th. Okay. Um, again, as you had mentioned earlier, it's going to be at uh, the Anthony's at the Delta and La Fonda del Sol restaurant in Española. Okay. It starts at 4 o'clock with the cocktail hour, and then the dinner follows afterwards. Perfect. Thanks again so much, you guys, Thank for you. being here on the show this morning. Thank you. For a full recap of the entire interview and all of the information you need to mm -hmm. participate in the fundraiser, you can head to alwaysonkrqe.com.